Hi Taurus, how's it going? This is going to be your weekly reading for the week of the 10th going to the 16th of August. So let's have a little look and see what is going to go on for you guys. So I haven't actually got any channeling messages for you guys, um, if I'm being honest with you, for the week. So we're just going to have a little look and see what's going on here, Taurus. Okay, I'm hearing a very good week to understand yourself a bit better. So it's very likely here, Taurus, we've had a little bit of a, I want to say disaster moment. It just feels like things just didn't go your way or, you know, it just, it just feels like things just aren't quite right as of right now. Okay, which is also why we have release as well as giving and receiving. Now, for some of you, Taurus, especially for you guys, because you guys are very, very good at giving. It's also time to receive, but at the same time, please do not expect to receive from certain people. If you want to expect it from a divine, that's absolutely fine because they will give you what it is that you deserve. Uh, but Taurus, when it comes down to people, be very mindful of who you're expecting. And if this is someone that hasn't given to you in the past, understand that they're very likely to not give back to you again. Okay, does that make any sense for some of you guys? This is going to be a very big week for releasing, um, especially when it comes down to lower vibrational things, okay? So water signs, we're getting a big message about, uh, well, there's a, still a big theme uh, continuing from last week about self-love, but this week is really about kind of trying to understand yourself and where you stand in life. And not just that, but also what you actually want out of life, right, Taurus? I feel like changes are coming to our routines. That was another theme, actually, that water signs had. So again, I feel like it's like a very general thing. Um, changing up your routines, go for a little bit of a change, like wake up a little earlier and do something new. Um, if you're watching TV, try read a book or watch something educational or something. I don't know, a podcast. <laughs> I'm always about podcasts. But either way, what they're asking for is to really kind of uh, jumpstart your brain here, Taurus, because maybe it's been a little bit brain dead. <laughs> <laughs> but which is okay we all deserve a rest here but at the same time Taurus maybe we need to kind of um chill out in a very productive way does that make any sense learn a language or something okay um but let me go into your actual tarot reading and see what these cards can also mean for you guys because we're actually, the good thing is we're actually stepping into a higher consciousness, which is nice with this release card, okay? The number 13 to me, especially with this card in particular, is like the hidden realms. We're entering the hidden realms here. But at the same time, Taurus, it does mean that you're having to let certain things go. I'm hearing like this, there's a lot of dead weight here. There's a lot of expectations from other people that have been implemented on you for a very long time. And this is really about trying to discover the new you. Um, and also this giving and receiving card, quite recently, the, the message that I have about this is planting seeds by aligning yourself so meditation will be very good if you're not into meditation and just having a little bit of quiet time um getting really kind of lost in your thoughts in a very productive way writing things down Taurus could help you um also to kind of understand those those thought processes or actually like vocalizing them because it's all fun and games to think about things but if anyone else can relate sometimes thinking about things can actually make your head a little bit more crazy <laughs> because you're kind of, you're, it's causing a tornado up there. It's not getting any release. So they're really asking for you to actually get it out of your system. Um, especially if it's lower vibrational things, like when it comes down to anger, when it comes down to frustration, when it comes down to jealousy, when it comes down to um, all the lower vibrational things, you're likely to be feeling it within this week. But that's why there is this very strong uh, message here to just let it, like, let it out. And that means not letting it out in spite uh, towards other people, but really about like writing these things down, like how you really feel. If any of you go to counseling, it's a very good time to open up a little bit more and just to, just to discover that next part of yourself, because that's what it feels like. It's like a next part of yourself. I feel like either you've known about this before here, Taurus, like you've been this kind of light being in the past and it kind of got covered over by other people's expectations or the material side of the world here, Taurus, because sometimes we can fall into habit of that. This is really about understanding um, who you are now, which is a, a light being of love, okay? And this is where this light is coming from. Um, so letting go of materialistic needs and understanding what your true passions and desires are, okay? First card that you have in your current position, which I will pull some clarifiers for, is the three of wands. So you are waiting for something, especially when it comes down to you've given things out here, um, most likely to do with other people. If you've done a lot of charity work or a lot of helping, a lot of like overtime at work, you're waiting for some kind of reward uh, to come back to you. But let me see what this is. 
this is a good sign to actually say that it is definitely coming back to you yeah because you put the work in taurus i see you i see you my hard workers especially when it comes down to ideas okay we have the king of wands at the bottom of the deck which is really about um again more ideas a lot of optimism when it comes down to a certain project that we have started or we've been thinking about as well um try not to let fear get in the mix because again that fear is uh, part of this lower vibration that we're actually being guided to let go of but at the same time using that fear letting that fear out going oh, i understand that i feel this way because this 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 and that but at the same time i'm putting the work in so i can expect this to come out and that kind of balance is what you need to actually move forward here taurus as well yeah letting go of the old okay try not to overwork yourself this week that's actually a very big theme too because i think it's mercury that's squaring uranus i think at some point let me read i got it written down <laughs> Oh no, it's Mars swearing Jupiter, sorry, that's on the 4th, so that is actually already gone by the time I'm doing this, but it's today that I'm uploading it, so be careful today, don't overwork yourself, alright, because you guys want more today, this is what is likely to be yeah, expansion. Also, there is a very big theme here, Taurus, of practicing that self-love, so maybe we've fallen out of the routine of that, and again, this is what the release really is, yeah, because there's been a lot of things that have been frustrating you here, that has exhausted you, again, it feels like um, if there was an ending to a relationship or a career or whatever this is, it could just be uh, just a part of yourself here, Taurus, it feels like you need to kind of get rid of this old part of yourself, you're wanting change, you're wanting transformation, now it's time to get rid of it, because you know, this part of yourself is not good for you. You've understood that for a while now, Taurus, I'm going to be honest. But, and, and yeah, you have, because you have this, you have very clear vision on this, Taurus, because this is about you. Um, and also the situation that you're in, you actually can see it clearly now. But the minute you're still in it, you're right, you're still in this uh, part of yourself, you're still in this career, you're still in this relationship, uh, whatever this is, Taurus, to you, that is still quite, it's, it's a little bit of dead weight, I'm not going to lie, it's not beneficial to you, it's more um, displeasing than it is actually uplifting, okay, it's, it's weighing you down, whatever this is, so maybe you need a time out within this week, guys to understand yourself on a better level, to put more time into your work here, to put more time into this project, to put more time into what it is that you're working on within yourself, okay? Especially to do with self-care. Maybe we've fallen out of routines here, which, it, it, you know, it can happen. But what you're waiting for seems like you doing the work still continuing okay because you're waiting for something but they're just saying carry on and it will come through like there's no need to keep checking up on whatever this is that's what they're saying there's no need to kind of keep stop starting energy just keep going and now we'll show through um a lot of this is to do with consistency as well so whatever plans that you have been kind of putting into work loving them by the way loving them because it is really like you're paying attention to the details okay this is really giving you a lot of passion it's definitely something that you want to pursue in the future so again could still be career but it can also be just self-love routines and uh, things that you're working on within yourself, uh, side projects as well here, Taurus, whatever it means to you, you're working on this and it's actually giving you a lot more passion because it's something new. Um, it's something that you can really, uh, you know, tend to the details in. And I was speaking yesterday in a live stream about this crow, um, which is actually a message from spirit. So you are having an incoming message when it comes down to love, when it comes down to relationships, especially if you have, have had a lot of bad history in the past when it comes down to this, because you now see things clearer. Yeah, you do. You see things a lot clearer now. So as you're releasing through the week, I feel like it's gradual. So for in the beginning of the week, maybe we can't help but look at all the negative stuff in our life. However, over the week, it's kind of like I'm understanding where it is that I'm going. I, and you do. And what I need to do to carry on moving forward. And this is what's attracting this new love to come in. Now, this is a very different <laughs> from the beginning of the week to the end of the week. Can you see the difference in that? And it's almost like I'm hearing reincarnation as well. So for some of you, if there has been any spirits that have crossed over, they're actually going to show themselves through uh, things like butterflies, things like uh, dragonflies. There's a very big theme here also. Um, anything to do with like um, flying things, birds as well, it could also be the crow. Um, but this is about co-creation and really having faith in what it is that you're doing and put love into it, Taurus. Whatever you are deciding to do, put love into it. I promise you that is a secret recipe for everything. Even when I cook my food, I'm like, my food's always amazing when I cook it because I put my secret ingredient in of love, okay? So just put love into it and it will blossom, okay? The moment that you kind of feel like it's just a little bit, you know, it's more damaging and it's got more... Um, 
and it's more mentally exhausting. The moment that it sits like that, which feels like your current career, your current relationship is feeling like it, um, you kind of just need to take a step out away from that so that you can really sit in this new element of whatever it is that you're focusing on now that that's going to blossom up and actually cause something that's quite a bit of a drought into something that's more blossoming, okay? Something that actually has a lot more substance to it. Yes, a lot of substance. We're adding substance to our life. A lot more meaning. Meaning of life. I'm loving it. You're giving yourself meaning, Taurus. You went from not knowing why life was even here. Do you know what I mean? Like, why am I here? What's the point in this? Do you see what I mean? It's all that questioning and it was overthinking and, and not, you know, it's quite pessimistic. But now, Taurus, now that we have almost like a goal in the future, what you're looking at is very, very different to what you're coming away from, which I'm loving. Loving, okay? Obstacles within this week is understanding that progress is going to be moving quite slowly. However, within this week, it is very important that, one, we keep our ideas to ourselves, okay? Um, other people's opinions right now will overwhelm you, so it's very important for you to tend to the details. Taurus, you are extremely hard workers. You know how to manifest money, if that's what it is that you want. And you're also ruled by Venus, which is also about love, so you know both. Okay, but it's now about acting like it. Now about putting your faith in yourself, what you can do and your actions and your belief system uh, and growing that so that you can actually plant those seeds. Okay, and you are planting seeds. It's almost like you're getting something ready to plant them. Uh, it feels like you're going on a journey here, guys, which is amazing because your outcome is the fall. Um, if anyone's familiar with the fall's journey, it really is about embarking down something new, taking a risk that you maybe wouldn't have taken before here, Taurus, okay? But it feels like we're just about to get ready for that run, that leap of faith. The Knight of Pentacles say, please. Yeah, look, starting a new project here, guys. Planning. I'm actually seeing you writing things down, like planning. I'm seeing you in an office here, guys. Look, the full card again. So your obstacles here is plainly just plainly. <laughs> it's just your worries right now, okay? This is going to drain your energy. Other people's opinions right now or focusing on what's someone going to think if I do this or what about that? And what? Don't overthink it. You putting love and effort into this is all you actually need to make the perfect recipe. Okay, I don't know if any of you are cooks or whatever, but I keep th I keep thinking that. Um, but you're writing things down. You're ready to start to take. It's almost like I'm actually seeing you getting up on the horse. So it's very new. Whatever this is, it's very new, and it's a very you as well. Look, and you're also on, on the bottom of the deck too. Loyalty. This is going to very much give you a lot of abundant energy. But we now need to start it. So you're working on this plan, and now you're getting ready to get on this horse. Okay, I'm actually seeing you start to, you know, get on the horse. That's what I'm seeing. But again, just be careful of this energy um, drain. This energy drain, this energy drain. Let me see, what does that mean? This energy drain. So it feels like someone's putting a, a, the plug here. Who's pulling the plug? Or well, someone did pull the plug in the past and that's still something that worries you. For some of you, you may have come out of a relationship. Now this is your time to shine, but if I, not to say anything bad about it, but it's just like, Jesus, <laughs> I said I wasn't saying anything bad. Why are you going to do that, spirit? <laughs> uh, there we go. That, there we go. That should be fine. Um, not to say anything bad about the last relationship, but I feel like we was maybe trusting other people's opinions of ourselves, which is why we wasn't moving forward, okay? Um, in other areas here, Taurus, it just feels like you now have a bit more freedom and time to really focus on yourself, okay? And maybe you didn't believe in yourself before this happened. But this full card journey, you're taking a risk. I'm actually seeing you getting ready to find happiness. And now the full card as the outcome for the week. I'm actually seeing a lot of good things, Taurus. I'm actually so happy for you. Yes, this is taking courage and strength here. Balancing your divine and masculine energies, guys. Very important stuff here. Could be dealing with a Leo. Could be dealing with... I'm actually seeing this mainly you. I'm mainly seeing you. <laughs> as I say that, look at you on top of your game. You're ready. And the beautiful thing about this here, Taurus, is you are definitely looking into the future when it comes down to who you are going to be. Um, and this project is actually yourself. This is building on yourself. So whatever it is, career, love, whatever, this is actually yourself. This is what you're actually building on behind the scenes. So whatever it is, is really going to add value to your life. And again, we, we've gone from questioning, like, why am I even here? This Ten of Swords does look a bit like depression here for some of you. Um, anxieties, things like that. Really, like, very low vibes. Like, really, really, like, 
low vibe struggling to get out of bed you see what i mean like things like that struggling to get out of your head too they just said that um but now we're moving forward we're actually finding meaning you have to find meaning i'm hearing that you have to find meaning you have to give life meaning and this way you're looking into the future and really desiring this new thing and this could be a business project for some of you guys um, and finding the right connections for that for others of you it could just be romance of a lifetime is what i'm hearing um but ultimately your main theme right now for the week is really about paying attention to you adding value to yourself giving yourself strength here too um a lot of independence this week which is in exciting to see with this full card we're actually taking a risk i love this i love this focusing on you anything happening for the week please spirit or is that we're just getting ready to go yeah transportation here change forward movement all right a lot of busy times within this week too and i think actually at the beginning of this week there is like some sort of unexpected change and it could just be like a spark within you that just goes i need to do something about this and giving and receiving maybe you've been giving out so much here taurus to other people that you're just like do you know what I've been giving way too much to other people. This is my time to give to myself here. So you're kind of putting yourself back up on this hangman position. You understand that there are still some things that you need to learn in life or in whatever it is that you're starting out here. Can you see that crow again? You're getting ready. You're doing the inner work. You're doing the outer work. And this all started from a spiritual uh, message. I'm going to say this right now. There is something that's coming through, whether it's your intuition, whatever it is, spirit has a very uh, interesting way of trying to uh, speak to you and communicate, depending on how open you are. However, this all started from spirit. That's what I'm seeing, um, which is why spirit is telling you that this isn't whatever you was wearing before. This isn't you. This was weighing you down. This was that Ten of Swords energy. Now that you're moving forward and see things clearly now that owl sitting on that tree the tree of life and again that tree of, can you see that tree of life is very much like very there's a lot of drought there's a lot of dead things there because we wasn't loving ourselves here taurus you was probably doing self-sabotaging behavior of negative thinking of bad habits okay uh being around negative people because that's not self-love either if you are choosing to be around people who don't add value to your life, who are very negative, you're choosing to be the same as them, basically, okay? So just make, be mindful of that. The, the people you have around you are very, they, you don't realize it, but you take on people's energies, okay? So if you're around negative people, understand that you're going to take on that same energy too, all right? But we're releasing things. We're putting ourselves up on this um, tree thing. We're, we're kind of distancing ourselves this week. Again, it does feel like there's not many people in this uh, reading, then what, maybe what you guys would have liked, but this is really about your project is you. Your new project is you. Um, and you're having to see things in a different perspective than what you once did. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And you're loving it too. Look how uncomfortable this is, but he's smiling because he understands why this needs to happen. Okay, let's see for romance though. For Taurus, please. So religious factors, which is always my spirituality card. I'm really falling in love with spirit here and really uh, sticking to some sort of not routine, but like um, commitment to yourself. And that's where your true love really falls. Again, that's what the drought was. You wasn't feeding yourself and you was expecting other people to feed you because you were giving to them. You was feeding them and you expected that in return. No, you need to feed yourself. And then from your leftovers, other people will share. Do you see what I mean? Release your ex here, guys, because there was deception in the past, releasing your past, okay? And the thing that you're moving into is worth waiting for, but we do need to let go of control issues, okay? It's time to move forward. And again, this is about loving yourself. This is your new project to you. This is your new project. This ex situation, whatever this is, your past, is what's causing you to feel uh, that uh, energy. That's the energy drain. That's the energy drain. It's, it's like every time you think of your past, every time you think of uh, something to do with the past here, whether it's yourself or other people, it automatically just kills your vibe. So please keep very busy. Keep very invested in what this is that you're trying to change and uh, grow. Okay? Let your friends help you too. Okay? This is a great time for community. Ask them for support here, forgiving and learning. Now, that's to do with yourself as well as the people around you. Now, I'm going to get the animal spirit deck out. Oh, boy. This is one of my favorites when it comes down to uh, doing things. Okay, so number 24 could mean something to you. Maybe it was a good age. All right, electric eel spirit. So bring your ideas to life. 
Seemingly out of nowhere, the jolt of electric eel spirit awakens to appears to awaken you to a big idea that you are meant to explore. Epiphanies and aha moments are gifted to you right now, so celebrate. Your life has the potential for profound transformation. Inspiration arises in you, electrifying you so that you don't you can't wait to get started bringing your idea to life. The revelations you experience now are meant to set you on a new path so do not be afraid to act explore examine and do not fear the changes that may come for spirit wants you wants to shower you with love success and abundance that you hope to experience now is a thrilling time of epiphanies inspired ideas and innovation this is a wondrous sign for you today so a lot of you are actually awakening yourself to the idea that spirit is actually there to work for you um to work with you sorry this is that co-creation and very similar to the these like flying birds like owls and crows here very important um which is really interesting stuff because this is again that spiritual they've been telling you this for a while and now they're guiding you as you go along this journey look how beautiful this is it's like as you're working as you're focusing they're still with you it's like they're still talking to you that they're helping you with these ideas please listen to them okay they've given you this first start out okay which is actually helping you with this plan they gave you the idea your spirit is with you i don't feel like you guys even realize that they are so with you they watched you through your darkest moments all right they see everything that hours that 360 a vision here they see everything okay they've seen everything it's almost like you know there's a part of yourself that we need to kind of put to sleep and like awaken the other part of ourselves that has been closed off for a long time do you see what i mean but spirit's been with you this whole time and they're with you now and they're with you through the project they're they're, they're ready to give you the results that you need in life okay all right my lovely that's an amazing reading so powerful and inspiring i love it <laughs> i want to be a taurus <laughs> Okay, guys, I really, really hope this has helped you, given you some guidance on your journey, my lovelies. Please let me know if it has. Um, if you wanted a personal reading from me, that will be linked down below. However, if you don't, I will just see you next time, okay?